Hello, today we're going to take a look at OpenShot. This is version 1.4.3. And we're going to start by, well, first, let's take a look at our project. Uh, first of all, I want to figure out which kind of um, profile I'm working on. So, ah, I already set the default profile, um, so it should be that, I don't quite, I guess maybe we can see, hmm. I guess we cannot see it, but let's just for safety, let's create a new project, and we're gonna, hmm, yeah, select this profile. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So we have to pick a project folder. Now I had this imported earlier and then uh, removed it. Uh, that was a little glitch, I guess. Anyways, uh, time to import some clips. Let's uh, add tomato juice. We can just drag and drop, that's nice. Um, I think we can undo. Yeah, Control Z allows us to undo imports and we're gonna put in some audio. And we can just drag it into the timeline and the audio as well. Let's get another clip. Wrong aspect ratio, yeah, that one. It uh, looks like we cannot see thumbnails for video or audio, but oh well. And we can overlay them, which I'm assuming will create a crossfade. <coughs> okay, so at this point the preview didn't get quite catch up with what we're trying to see. So let's just go step by step. It looks like there is no automatic transition, so let's just uh, throw something in. And it doesn't look like you can overlay them to make transitions. You have to um, you have to put transitions between the tracks. Um, okay, okay. Uh, resize this a little. Um, okay, so it's fading now. Let's maybe try. Oh, clouds. Let's give that a try. Can we just change it? Yes, we can just put an old, a, a, new, a new transition on an old one. And it will uh, replace the transition image. Um, I seem to have, uh, yeah, the UI is frozen right now, we'll just give it a second. Poof. Um, alright, I'll just kill it. And start it again, and here we are. Um, I thought that we had um, autosave, which I guess means that it just saved as uh, this try project. All right, yeah, here we are. It's this dissolve. So let's be more careful this time. Let's shift. Wait, what? Huh. I just used shift and left mouse button to remove it. I had to click twice though. Um, okay, try. Let's try the swipe. For Okay. okay. This looked weird. Um let's Yeah, I don't remember why why it's looking like that. Let's try another one. I'm not sure what's going on. 
<coughs> this one works fine, the other ones have weird effects. Um, we have, these things have properties, so type, direction, transition, softness, Oh well, it's not like we anybody wants to use transitions other than the soul really. <coughs> Alright, so next we're gonna just cut a little of the audio material. There is a cut tool for that. Alright, um, like this. And we're gonna use shift left mouse button click to remove the rest. And um, if we zoom in real close, we cannot. It doesn't. We can see the frame here, but we cannot see it in the. Oh, so we can see it, but hmm, but we cannot really cut close. So I don't feel really safe when cutting. Uh, perf like frame perfect, it feels like a little gamble. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can select all the tracks also hmm? oh so let's let me just move them here manually um it's not nice uh no it's it's a shame <coughs> all right uh, I think I'm not sure if this is this looks like it's perfect. Oops, I accidentally disabled this. Good to know. I'll just turn off the audio in this. Oh, it was already turned off. Oh well. Um, what should we do besides that? We should try out some of the effects. Um, we're gonna change the audio a little. Let's give it... Tremble? Not sure. Let's give it phaser. Alright, and we can see these effects by right clicking the, the tr clip in the track and um, go to effects. Oops, so let me show you that again. Right click here, go to properties and <clears throat> the effects tab has all the stuff. Phaser, tremble, the tremble didn't really do anything it seems. Here are the parameters and we're just gonna apply and now let's try some uh, video effect. Yeah, why not? Let's try a cartoon effect for for our... What's, Why is there a box in the middle? Huh. Um. Okay, so removing the effect made the, made the weird box go away, that's good. Let's try it as old. Oh, is it animated? Yes, it's animated. That's fun. And let's uh, <laughs> hue and yeah, let's try invert on this one. Crash. Let's see. Open shot. <clears throat> let's see what it preserved. Oh, yeah, just gonna open this project and jump in here. Yeah, looks like it saved it nothing got lost. <clears throat> so there you go. All that stuff to do is trying to render it and we're gonna use a... Uh, I didn't really like any of these profiles because there is no 10, 1080p format for some reason so I'm just gonna use advanced. We want yeah video and audio we want 1080 
30 frames. Um, don't care. Don't mind. But let's use eight. And let's use a different one, maybe a little better. Okay, let's export. Right, so it finished. Uh, last thing to do is let's take a look at the video. Famille humaine et de leurs droits égaux et inaliénables constitue le fondement de la liberté, de la justice et de la paix dans le monde. Considérant que famille humaine et de leurs droits. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope this UI introduction or follow along helped you out. Ciao. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>